Let's start. The project name is Encryption. Let's see the project structure. Here we have the main activity and an encryption manager class. And in the UI, we have an activity underscore main.xml file, which is the layout of the main activity. Let's see the UI. In the activity underscore main.xml file, we have an edit text where the user would enter some text to encrypt. And we have several buttons like encrypt data, decrypt data, create SHA-256, encode base 64, decode base 64. And we have a text view where we see the result. Let's see the code. The constraint layout is the root layout. This is the edit text. This is the text view. This is the encrypt data button. This is the decrypt data button. This is the create SHA-256 button. This is the encode base 64 button. This is the decode base 64 button. Let's see the Java code now. These are the imports. This is the encryption manager class. This is the encryption key. First, we implement the singleton object creation pattern so that only one object of this class would be present throughout the app life cycle. This is the encrypt function. This is the decrypt function. This is the get combined array function, which is used in the above functions. This is the bytes to hex string function, which is used in the above functions. This is get sh256 function. This is encode base 64 function. This is decode base 64 function. These are the imports. This is the main activity. These are the data members. In the onCreate function, we have created an instance of the encryption manager class. When encrypt data button is clicked, we get the data from the edit text and pass it to the encrypt function. Then we show the result in the text view. When decrypt data button is clicked, we get the already encrypted data in the previous step and pass it to the decrypt function. Then we show the result in the text view. When create SHA-256 button is clicked, we get the data from the edit text and pass it to the get SHA-256 function. Then we show the result in the text view. When encode base 64 button is clicked, we get the data from the edit text and pass it to the encode base 64 function. Then we show the result in the text view. When decode base 64 button is clicked, we get the data from the edit text and pass it to the decode base 64 function. Then we show the result in the text view. Let's run the app. So that's it. That's how you can implement encryption in Java Android. Thanks for watching.